Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. Let's get straight into this. Uh, sorry the, the turns are coming so slow, but I'm spending most of my time actually updating the mod. The mod's actually changing a lot as I play, but it's getting very, very close to release. Uh, I think it's almost there. There's a few things, and uh, I think releasing it the way I am doing it sort of in a, in a whip format really seems to be a good way because I'm getting a lot of great suggestions which I can implement much easier at this stage. So that's why it's taking a lot of time because people are suggesting things. I'm going, you know, that's a really good idea. <laughs> okay, so let's get into this. Got the king in yellow here. Right. So Vincent has an elder thing and a my gal. Let's just kill these. We should be able to kill these. These could be dangerous, but at the same time, not so much. Uh, he's only got three sanity though, and there's four sanity of death here. So we have to pump his will up. Let's go one, two. So we can afford to we can afford to lose one of these rolls. Okay, so what we're going to do, when you fight the Mygao, it's, uh, you, you get a unique item after you kill him. So I'm going to do that first, just in case I win, because that's going to help us. Now, this is actually a pretty, this is actually a harder, harder than you might think, because we've it's the will rolls that are hard, but we don't have any clues, but we do have a re-roll with Mandy. So let's just roll two dice because we're at will three minus one. We need one success. Come on, this is the this is the most tense roll. Come on. Come on! Beautiful. Okay, so we passed the MyGo test. That's fine. And now we're just gonna do the combat. So we're at one fight, plus we're at one fight, so that's two dice, plus we have three combat and four combat, which is another seven, which takes us to nine die. And it's got no modifier. So we can just roll nine die. You blam. And we're definitely going to get a success out of nine die. So I would imagine. Oh, gee, scare me. Wow, we pulverized him. Okay, so this guy actually goes to the box. We don't use it. I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to build a function to uh, have like a, a box you know, like that you can dump things in. It'll be like a little tiny Arkham box. I'll put it up here. Basically, instead of deleting this whole area, I'm going to have a few little tools and things up here that players can use, like, say, boxes to chuck these things in. Anyway, whatever. The point is we've killed that guy and we've got a gate box, which is awesome. So gate box plus find gate. That is one hell of a combo. Now, this guy is minus three to horror. We can't pass that at all. We've got no clues and we've only got three will. So we're gonna take two sanity straight off. And now we also have a nine combat because we've got the same dice pool and it's got no modifier. This time we need two successes and we should be able to do this as well. Come on, come on, beautiful. Pulverized him as well. Now, it's very important to kill all the monsters we can because of the terror level. We're at level only 11. We've got no monster limit, which means it's very conceivable for this thing to go up eight points because every time every time there's a monster surge, you know, so you just got to be right on top of killing monsters, I think, in these large player count games. Okay, Harvey. Harvey is actually blessed... I'm gonna put, I need to, that's another thing I need to do. I need to fix the die roller so it remembers whether you've set it to be blessed. So he's actually blessed. And he's gonna stay where he is and do the ancient tablet. So the ancient tablet, spend three movement points, discard the tablet, roll two dice. For every success rolled, draw a spell. For failures, draw two clues. So this is a no win. Hopefully, it would have been nicer to not maybe not use this and uh you know get four clues because it's it's better to roll this actually when you're cursed 
Because <laughs> it doesn't say numbers, it actually rolled successes. But because we're blessed, we, uh, we're we probably going to get spells, at least one spell. I mean, it's a 50-50 chance rolling the, the blessed dice because there's three uh, successes. So it'll probably be one of each. There you go. That's the odds working correctly. So we've got one success and one non-success. So we'll take a spell and we take two clues. And we get Flesh Ward, which is a meh spell anyway. Meanwhile, Jenny Barnes is going to go one, two, three, four. Now she's got three movement, but she's also got the motorcycle. Okay, so what she's actually going to do is go one, two, three, four, five. So she's passed Gloria and she's passed Vincent and she's going to trade with them as she goes. And that way we're going to sort of swap around our, uh, our uh, you know, stuff here. See how we're going to go. So for starters, so what have we got here? We've got a Plato, a Plato and Relia. So she, he goes to her first. Okay, so she needs a f magical weapon. So there's plus five to combat, shriveling, plus six to combat. Okay, so she's going to give her the spell for shrivel shriveling. She's got the mist. I might give this to... Okay, let me just think about this. Hang on. Okay, he's going to take the enchanted blade and bring that over here. And swap out the Derringer and the Lamp and give this to him. And take the Revolver, give that to her and then take the Automatic. Okay, so we just did some flipping around. We're just going to make, we want this girl to be a bit more... Uh, she's also got a Mist of Relia. And that's for a Vade check. Now she's going to be a combat person. She doesn't need that. So I'm going to give that to him. Take the cloak and give that to her. Okay. So that's that. So he's ended up with the lamp. He's got the holy water and the derringer. And she's ended up with Magical, shriveling, the revolver and the cloak. Okay, so that's all good and done. Anyway, she's heading down to the... Oh, not my boarding house. She's going to the South Church is where she's going because you want to bless herself. Now, Amanda. Amanda has three movement. Now, she's got three... Oh, wait, I also forgot to give her a coin. I'm absolutely terrible with giving her her money. I just forget every turn. Okay, so she has three focus. So what she wants to do is go one, two, three to the Silver Twilight Lodge. So she started with Caroline. She's gone through her and through him, and she's also going to do some trading. So let me I'll just think about this. For starters, she's going to take the Flute of the Outer Gods and give that to Vincent. So this thing allowed lose three sanity and three stamina, discard the Flute of the Outer Gods before making a combat check to defeat all monsters in your current area. This does not affect Ancient Ones. That's pretty strong. Uh, and he's also now got the mist, so it's a lot easier for him to do this. We're also going to take the Elder Summon. And the reason why we're giving him the flute is because we're about to send almost everyone out into the other world. We're going to send her out. We're going to send Gloria out. We're going to send Mandy out as well, I think, and just try and close all three of these gates in the next couple of turns and hopefully win the game because we've already got two out. We only need uh, six to win. 
So we're going to get very close to winning, I think. So she's taken the Elder Sign. What's Caroline got? Now, Caroline's got a gazillion billion things here. She's got a Sword of Glory. And a shotgun. I think she... I think we're going to leave all her stuff here. Discard to, after failing a combat check to reduce monster combat damage to zero. I might give that to, no, I'll keep that. And she also passed Caroline, the doctor and her. Ah, oh, right, yeah, so Healing Stone, Derringer. Yeah, I don't think we're actually going to do anything else here. What I really need is a way to... Oh, wait, she's going to take the Gate Box and the Find Gate. Now, she doesn't need the Gate Box. Well, I'll give the Gate Box to... Gloria. So again, uh, the Gloria is before her, so she can't actually do it. So she will take, will leave the gate box here. Okay, so we tr went from here, we did nothing, no trading with her. We then went to Gloria and we took the Elder Sign and then we went to uh, French Hill past the doctor and took the fine gate. Okay. And that's her turn. Oh, she needs three movement, which she's got. I should take one of these. Actually, yeah, she's going to take the alien statue and give that to the doctor. So she picked it up off Caroline and then dumped it to the doctor here. Okay, nice. Caroline's turn. So Caroline is just going to go, let's just go somewhere safe. Yeah, I'm just going to go to Velm Diner. That's one movement that she's got. She's also got the motorcycle. Uh, but she wants to do... She's got two tones. She's going to do the king in yellow, which is a law minus two check. Oh, she's also got this tone here. What's this one? So she's going to use her focus to go one, two will. And then she's going to do this tome. So this tome is a law minus two check. You get bamo. Beautiful success. Okay, so. She's read the play, The King in Yellow, and gone a little nuts, so she loses a sanity. But remember, she actually gained a sanity at the beginning of her upkeep, so she's got a net gain of zero. And she passed, so she gets four clue tokens. One, two, three, four. Very nice. Where's these go? Over here. Yonk. And get rid of that. So that's her turn, and she's moved to the, the, the diner. Does she want to go to the diner? What's the diner give us mainly is money or health. We don't really need any of them. I think, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll go there. I wanna be safe. I'm gonna do a lot of combat this turn. Okay, and now we have this chick. She's gonna go one, two, three, or so to here. She can actually go four if she wanted and go one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, no, so yeah, so she has to go. Yeah, so, but she goes past the doctor as well. And I think he's gonna give her the healing stone. Give him the healing stone. And I might take, no, I think I'll keep all the rest. Six clues, she's got six clues. I think I'll take the holy water and the lamp and the derringer. 
just take all his weapons because he doesn't really need weapons right now. Oh, you know what else I'll take? I'll take the... Actually, you know what? Let's not take the weapons. Instead, let's take... Where did I give... Who's got the Dark Cloak? Oh, I gave it to... I gave it to uh, Gloria. I wish I didn't do that. I should have given it to her. Then she'd have evade, evade, and evade. In fact, I'm just going to say I did that. There we are. Okay, so that's the plan. Okay, so she needs one more movement. And I think I'll put my luck... I think I'll just bring this down just so everything's in a position to max out. Uh, that's her turn. So Gloria now. Gloria's going to do a funky move. The first thing she's going to do is cast Voice of Ra. So Voice of Ra is a law minus thing I check. This is during the upkeep. So she's going to do three roll. Come on. Okay, success. So the Voice of Ra is active. And then she's going to go, she needs two movement. She's got two movement. So she's going to use this focus to go one, two, to bring her will up as far as possible. And she's going to go one, two, and fight the hound. Now the hound is an incredibly nasty monster. Flip, look at this. It's physical immunity, so we have to use magical things but check this out if you fail the test you lose force sanity which will actually send her insane now i don't think we've got a problem here we've got mandy for a reroll. plus we have a bunch of clues plus we have an extra die from ra so i think we, oh, we actually have to lose a sanity for that as well so i think we're fine so what i'm going to do is we're at four Sanity, four will plus one for Ra minus two, which means you have three dice for one success plus a reroll. So hopefully that's going to be enough. Come on, we need one success. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we make it. Now we just need to kill him. So we are currently, uh, first thing we're going to do is roll for Wither. Let me have a look here. Do I want to use shriveling? Shriveling will cost another sanity. We get six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll give us eleven die versus completely safe. Six, seven, eight. So we're only one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we basically get two extra dice for a cost of one sanity. I don't think it's worth it because it's only two successes and we've still got a reroll, remember. So I'm actually just gonna use Wither, which is we roll five dice because of Law 4 and Ra. Okay, so that's plus three attack. And then we have plus three from the knife. So that's six attack plus one for the fight, plus one for Ra. And then we, so that's six, and then that's minus one. So we have seven dice for two successes. And he's physically immune, but the knife is obviously magical. Okay, so we need two successes and we have a reroll available. Yeah, bam, beautiful, easily done. Now that seemed like a real risk, but it wasn't. I mean, the 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 will roll was risky, but I think it wasn't too risky. But the actual combat wasn't risky at all. Remember, we have enchanted jewelry, so we could absorb three damage. Plus, we have some stamina. He's only doing, you know, we, we could basically take two hits from this guy without having any anything hurt us. Plus we had a re-roll, so we had three rolls to kill him. Whatever, the point is he's dead. Oh, she's got five, 
five uh, things here. Okay, next is Dexter Drake. Now, Dexter is up here in the Asylum, so he's going to stay at the Asylum, and he's going to use the Asylum to just power the Book of Dazan. So it's a law minus one, so let's just move his law out one. Let's move his, this down one as well. His two focus. I like to keep all the stats one off max or minimum, just so you can move them to max if you want. Anyway, the point is we're at two focus and we've moved that. And now we're going to do the Tome of Dazan. Law minus one check. If you pass, draw one spell, lose one sanity, and put one stamina token on it. So uh, it's four die. And we want one success. Okay, beautiful. We're passing all our rolls. Very, very nice. That gives us a minus one sanity. We also get a stamina token. Uh, I've placed stamina tokens and sanity tokens on this board in the later versions of this mod. What else have I done? Uh, oh yeah, and now I get to draw a spell, but because of his ability, we get to draw two spells and pick one. Okay, the Dread Curse seems like a fantastic spell. It's nine combat, but it's two-handed, right? It's not like most spells. If it was a single-handed spell, it would be insanely good, but the two sanity cost is too much in my opinion. If this was one-handed spell, I'd probably like this a lot more. Let's get rid of it. Mist of Relayer. Definitely keeping this one. Perfect. I probably should have looked at the second one before I threw away the other card. I knew I wasn't going to take it, though. But Mist is excellent. Basically, this allows you to use your lore as an evade. So he has a really high lore. So basically, he can leave... His law maxed at five and his speed maxed at five, five, and he'll have five sneak. So he'll have five speed, five sneak, and five law by using this card. So it's a very, very good card for him. What's this thing again? Oh, reduce monster toughnesses. Nice. Okay, we're back to Vincent. That's the end of that. So let's just do the thing. Vincent's in the street, so he doesn't do anything. Harvey is in the university. A chemical brew bubbles on a nearby Bunsen burner. It smells delicious. If you drink it, make a luck zero check. We're going to do that. Luck. Oh, I forgot to move his things. Ah, oh, usually I, usually whenever I'm at the science building, I like to move the luck down as max as possible because so many of the science is at luck. It's a luck zero with two blessed dice, so we should be able to do this. And we have a re-roll if we require it. We don't. Uh, I'm going to re-roll this using Mandy's ability. Okay, so we get a success. If you pass the strange liquid fortifies you, roll a die and gain that many points split between your stamina and sanity. So we only need three or better to max out our board. Come on. Whoa. And we get a three. So that's one, two, three. Oh, whoop. One, two, three. And we've maxed out our board. Perfect. Jenny is at the church, right? So she's going to bless herself. Now, it's interesting is that you can actually use the church to bless anyone. You can pray for anyone, even if they're in the other world and get, their, get them blessed. So, but she's gonna bless herself. So let's uh, chuck rid of that and just get a bless card. Your blemo. Amanda gets sucked through to Relia. Caroline is in, where is she? She's in the diner, I think. Yeah, she's in the diner. 
You get food poisoning plus a luck minus one check or lose two stamina. Gee, oh, look at the roadhouse. I wish I went to the roadhouse. Gain two clues. I almost went to the roadhouse too. Luck minus one check. So that is two dice. Two stamina. That's quite a hefty penalty, isn't it? Wow. Damn. Went to the wrong place. Okay, she is also at the church. So she is also going to bless someone, but she's not going to bless herself. She's going to pray for Gloria. Noise. Okay. That's her done. Gloria herself is in the plat heading off to the plateau of Lang. And Dexter Drake is gonna just activate the asylum and get that sanity back. And he's just gonna do that for two turns to draw spells from the book. And now we're doing we've got two other world encounters, starting with Amanda in Relia. Bam, we're drawing a red or a yellow. Red. Uh, what are we in? Relia. Other. The humidity and heat is exhausting. Lose the stamina. It's pretty lame. And remember, we still have plus one on Voice of Ra. And her ability is interesting. It allows her to draw two matching cards per encounter in the other world. So we're gonna draw, let's see what we get. We get yellow, we need a red or a green. There's a green, we need another one now. Red or a green, there's another green. And she's in the plateau of Lang, so the others. So other, you find some valuable items that you can sell back for $3, or do a fight minus two check to pry open a gate and find a unique item. So her fight is one. Even with the voice of Ra, it's only two, which means that she cannot pass this. So she's just gonna take the three bucks. Beautiful. And that is the end of this round. We just need to do the mythos phase now be something nice. Well, it's never something nice. Yablamo! Okay, it's a headline and we have a black gate. Okay, we knew it was coming eventually. This is the first surge of the turn. Black gate. Uh, okay, so the way surge works is that you have to draw a monster equal to the player count. There's another rule. I can't remember whether it's equal to the amount of gates you've closed or the amount of gates. No, the amount of gates you've uh, collected, like as trophies. If that's higher than the player count, then you draw that many monsters. And that's for when you're playing on low player counts. Like if you're playing single or two player, you end up with lots of gates. What I'm trying to say is, is that we have to draw eight monsters. So the way you do it is that you nominate your gate and then you draw the monsters. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start at the Black Cave and I'm just gonna go anti-clockwise, I think. Maybe clockwise. Yeah, I'll just go start the black cave and go clockwise. I'll draw two to each, and then I'll decide what to do. So, all oh, right, I'm back. Uh, my alarm went off. Okay, what I was doing. Two to each gate, starting at the black cave. One, two. One, two. One, two. And then I'm going to go Black Cave and Relia. So that's two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay. What have we got here? Oop. Nothing too bad there. Star Spawn and a Maniac. Cultist and a Warlock. Okay. Now we do movement. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five five, six, seven, eight in the sky. 
No, wait, that's not right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should have drawn eight, shouldn't I? Am I missing something? Ah, oh, there's another one here. Night Gaunt. Okay, so let's move on circles first. Uh, we have a circle here, but it's a yellow border, so he doesn't move. He just camps out. A bit of cultist activity over at the Unvisited Isle. We have a warlock and a cultist. Uh, we have a backy. That is a circle, so that moves to the sky. Uh, we also have a witch, which is a circle, so that moves to Rivertown. Over here we have two cultists, a uh, cultist, a maniac, and a star spawn. Okay, so that's the end of that. The clue appears at Rib's Roadhouse. Oh god, I really wish I went there. I could have gotten two clues plus a third clue. So she'd be, almost be ready to close a... Yeah, she'd be able to close a gate. <laughs> and the headline, Lodge member held for questioning. A silver lodge ritual lets two monsters loose in French Hill streets. Great. One, two. Oh, God, that's right where we are. Oh, and it's a dark one as well. Wow, that is not good. Dark Ones are three monsters. They have three sanity loss and three health loss. And they're nightmarish. Now, luckily for us, Vincent was the f first player. <coughs> luckily for us, Vincent was the first player this round. So he's the last player. So plenty of time for us to clear this space. Okay, so that's, that's that. Okay, well, that is the end of this round. I think we did pretty well. Uh, we got a couple of people blessed. We got three players blessed now. And one of them is our monster hunter. And we've also got, there's quite a lot of monsters on the board. Oh, let me just quickly count the monsters. We should be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay, so we're at 11. What this means is that, uh, what this means is, is that we're at, we're at the monster limit right now. So any monster that's added to the Arkham will raise this terror level. So if we have a monster surge next turn and we don't kill any monsters, our terror level will jump to eight in a single card. So we need to kill as many of these as possible, preferably all of them, or at least most of them. Now, He's out. He does have the flute, which I should probably give to this guy because he's got the best of aid. Anyway, whatever. The point is, we have some mega killing to do. Anyway, that's the end of that, and I will see you guys next time.